Here we go now, and this is the moment, tonight is the night, we'll fight till it's over, so we hold our balls up, like the lead for can't hold us, like the lead for can't hold us. Hey guys, my name is SickaBOT1, and for the first time, I think, my brother isn't making background percussive noises while I am going to attempt the Elite Four. Yay! Alright. I did a bunch of training off screen as well as a practice run of this, so I think I know what I'm doing. Here's Christian. They're all level 57. Christian will be holding a sky plate. I believe his attacks are. Yeah, they are the same as they were last time. Bato, level 57. Now is holding an icicle plate, but, uh. I'm actually gonna swap that for a quick claw. <laughs> yeah, I think a quick claw would be better. I got rid of Rock Smash and replaced it with Ice Beam. Jesse, <clears throat> pretty much the same, although I don't think I'll get much use out of Hidden Power. In the after game, maybe I'll replace it with something else. And Jesse is holding a Miracle Seed, because I think I might need it. Also, I used a couple PP ups on Giga Drain, so now he, he has 14 uses of that. Yang, the Metacham, pretty much the same, except I replaced... Okay, initially, I I think the last time I had Reversal, but I before I replaced Drain Punch with Reversal, and now I've replaced Reversal with Recover, because I think that'll be useful for Yang to have. Also, Yang has a Fist Plate. Evan, I have the Earth Plate given to him. In place of Avalanche, he now knows Metal Burst. And Metal Burst, I think, will be good for him, because it'll allow him to deal heavy damage to fighting types and to ground types that use said moves against him. Lilana, holding a Dread Plate. I believe his moveset is pretty much the same. So, we're gonna get ready to move out. Christian will be leading out with us in this first battle. Here we go. We are going to take on the Sinnoh Elite Four. We are going to become the champions of this place. Can't go down this elevator. One-way street. Here's the room of the first man, Aaron. The rooms in Diamond and Pearl are kind of generic, and they all kind of look like this, and they have different color schemes to reflect the type that the Elite Four member uses. Aaron has green for bugs. I will be showing pictures of what the rooms look like in Platinum, because in Platinum they look a little more personalized. So yeah, let's get right into it! Hello! Welcome to the Pokémon League! I'm Aaron of the Elite Four, it's good to meet you! Oh, I should explain, I'm a huge fan of Bug Pokémon! Bug Pokémon are nasty mean, and yet they're beautiful, too! Would you like to know why I take on challengers here in this room? It's because I want to become perfect! Just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Here we go! Aaron is the first bug type Elite Four member, and so far, he's still the only one. So that's cool. He's also the second bug type boss after Bugsy from Johto, and then later on, we had uh, Berg from Unova and Viola from Kalos, but all of them were gym leaders. He lives up with a Dustox, which I find hilarious because Dustox is not a very good Pokemon. And it really shouldn't be used by an Elite Four member, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's a little defensive, more defensive than Beautifly at least, but seriously, why? Anyway, instead of his Dustox, he uses a Yanmega. In Platinum, at least. Okay, now he's switching to his signature already. This is Drapion, and he did this in the practice runs too, so I'm actually expecting this. Drapion is actually not a bug type, but it evolves from Skorupi, which is bug poison. Drapion is instead Poison Dark. So there's that. The reason I'm sitting on Bato is because Bato resists every single one of Drapion's moves. Or at least this one. I really like Drapion. I, I kind of want to use one one of these days, but now is not the day. Mostly because I, I just wanted to use Pokemon that I wanted to use, and it's my business why I wanted to use them. <sighs> I notice I haven't used a bug type at all in my Pokemon Let's Plays, but, uh, oh well. And yes, it's it's a signature Pokemon, and as such, they have a, a Citrus Berry on them. I thought that Aaron was going to say something there, but no, he didn't. Pretty much Drapion's tactics are involving 
that's great grammar right there. They involve brute strength, pretty much. He doesn't have any status moves, it's mostly just moves that he can learn, and he's got Ice Fang for coverage. Because Drapion's only weakness is ground. So I guess Evan actually would have been a good choice too, but I decided Bato. And now Heracross. Which means we want to bring Christian back out. I believe Christian will be taking care of the rest. The rest are bug types, so there's that. Interestingly enough, Eren is the only Elite Four member that keeps his signature Pokémon. I mean, we're, well, all of them keep their signature Pokémon from the previous games, but in this game, I mean, in Platinum, Drapion remains Eren's signature Pokémon. And he's the only one of the Elite Four, not counting the champion, to have that happen to him. Now, level 57 might seem a bit overkill now, since Eren's levels range between 53 and 57, but trust me, I'm gonna need every... Every last bit of what I've accomplished. And now he's got Beautifly. Since he's got Dust Ox, of course he's also got to have Beautifly. Beautifly is more offensive and... Yeah. More offensive, but not gonna last. In Platinum, this would be replaced by a Caesar, so a lot more threatening. They make it a bit, the battle a bit tougher in Platinum with better Pokémon that Eren has, but uh, overall... The Elite Four actually has lower levels in Platinum than they do in Diamond and Pearl, so, uh, yeah. Which is weird, because in general, Platinum has higher levels, and here's Vespaquin, which could actually be the most dangerous member of his team. And for reasons you'll see later, I mean, momentarily. And she's got pressure. This is why you want to get a female combi if you get a combi at all. Vespaquin's gimmick is using stuff like Attack Order, Defend Order, Heal Order. Defend Order can make her really challenging to deal damage to. Plus, she's got Power Gem, so there's that. <laughs> Christian is just gonna sweep everything, and Christian actually could've taken care of Drapion just fine. Just would've taken a little longer than with Bato. Not yet! Your first Pokémon League victory doesn't come easily, kid. Whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. Pluck it up! Pluck it up! Pluck it up! I don't know why I have the need to say that, but trust me, Vespaquin can be very difficult to deal damage to when she's raking up Defend Order. Those are all moves. Attack Order, Heal Order, Defend Order, those are all Vespaquin exclusive moves. Just so you know. And we defeated Eren. I will now concede defeat. But I think you came to see just how great Bug-type Pokémon can be. I hope you also realize what you're up against in the Pokemon League. Battling is a deep and complex affair. And we got money. Yay! <laughs> Let's move on. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. You lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it! Back to training camp! Let's hear it for me! No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three trainers are waiting for you. They are all tougher than me. Go on, go to the next room. I'm going to become a top-level trainer who can't be outclassed with my beautiful and tough bug Pokémon. So, whatever you say, Eren. Yeah. Eren is not a very challenging trainer, but still, I do appreciate how... Okay, I didn't mean to press B. I do appreciate how they did something different with the Elite Four of this game, and tried to fit unique types in, and so far... I... You know, one of my friends thinks that there should be a normal type Elite Four member, and I agree, actually. Now, who am I going to lead out with? Okay, Je no, I'm going to lead out with Jesse. Okay, Jesse, you're going to get your Pokemon League debut coming up next. Here we go. Up the elevator. Click. The elevator went up. This is Bertha. She's a female. She's kind of elderly, and she has ground-type Pokémon, as indicated by the colors. Ground-type Pokémon don't have that many bosses attached to them, which is kind of sad, and th this is the first and only bug- I mean, ground-type Elite Four member in the entire series. They really got creative with the Elite Four, I can't say that enough for the Elite Four of Sinnoh. Other ground-type bosses, Giovanni, as a gym leader at least, in Kanto, and Clay in Unova. I really like Clay, he's one of my favorite gym leaders of all time, so... Here we go, challenge number two of the Elite Four. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. Aha, I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground-type Pokemon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? Gladly. 
So, Bertha's team is mostly revolved around brute strength, as you would expect a ground-type team to be. Leads out with Quagsire, and that's why I am leading out with Jesse. Now, Quagsire, she does not have Quagsire in Platinum. In its place, she has Gliscor. So yeah, Gliscor is a bit more threatening, I think. I don't know. I really like Quagsire, but Gliscor, it's just really good. I don't know. Plus, one shot with Giga Drain. Oh yeah, I am too good. Apparently. <laughs> See what you lead out with next. Whiskash. Okay, she has two water ground types in this team, which kind of explains why they got rid of her Quag Sire and Platinum and gave it some gave her something a little more unique. I don't know. I don't know if I would consider her Whiskash more threatening than her Quag Sire because I always knock them out in one hit. In fact, I don't know why she decided to send out Whiskash in the first place. Actually, according to Bulbapedia, Whiskash knows Zen Headbutt, so I'm guessing that's what she was hoping on. And seriously, neither of her water ground types have Ice Beam or any Ice moves, which is kind of weird. Pseudo Wudo. Obviously, Pseudo Wudo is not a ground type. Well, maybe it's not that obvious, but I don't know. It's pure rock type. So I understand why she has it, but it's not a ground type, so... I, I don't know. She doesn't have this in Platinum. It gets replaced with, uh... Well, I'll get into that later, because... Signature Pokémon. She doesn't keep her signature Pokémon. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, okay, you're gonna use a, a thing. And you had your energy drained. Earthquake, eh? Hmm, earthquake, eh? Earthquake, say. I promised I would kill that joke, but I lied! Okay, you happy now? I lied! Okay, since you're definitely gonna heal, I'm gonna use Hidden Power on you to chip away a little bit. Well, at least you use your full restore here. As opposed to later. Okay. Hidden power it up! Hidden power it up! Let's do it! Might not have been as useful in the later of the game. That didn't make any sense and something fell on my computer. I'm sorry. It's my bot. Ah, oh, you know Sucker Punch. That's right. But I think Jesse can tank it. Okay, yeah, you can tank it. But I'm gonna have to give you a Hyper Potion after this bat. Which I might not since Giga Drain. Yeah. Jesse might actually sweep this entire team, in all honesty, because he is too good. Well, come on, using green health! Okay. Now, who do we got next? We, she's gonna move to her signature, or is she gonna move... Yep, yeah, she's gonna move to her signature, hit Poudon. This is a very tricky Pokémon, because it is only pure ground-type, and additionally, it is bulky as hell, it activates a sandstorm that will last the entire rest of the battle, so yeah, in theory, it would have been a good idea to send out Bato instead of keeping Jesse out, because Bato won't be affected by the Sandstorm, but that Hippowdon has Earthquake and I don't want to give her the chance to use it. Also, that's not a shiny Hippowdon. It always confuses me when I see female Hippowdon. They're black as opposed to brown. I don't get why either. I think I would have it the other way around, but I, I don't know. Citrus Berry is going to bring you about there. I think I can beat you with another Giga Drain. Probably going to have to use an Elixir on Giga Drain at some point. In fact, probably after the next battle, even though I don't think Jesse's going to be particularly useful for the battle after this. And it should be obvious. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, Jesse's not going to faint from the Sandstorm, but geez, that was quite the pounding right there. It only did regular damage. If that's not a testament to how incredibly powerful Hippowdon is, I don't know what is. Hippowdon is just bulky as hell, and yeah. It's the only thing that Bertha has that's actually challenging, in my opinion. I know that sounds mean, but uh, it's considering that Bertha is a very old and experienced trainer. Okay, maybe not that old, but she is experienced. I don't know. But Hippowdon! It's tough. Oddly enough, not her signature in Platinum. They decided that in Platinum, her signature should be Rhyperior. Which can be one-shotted quite easily, since you probably have a Water-type on your team by now. And Golem. Yep, she has a Golem. This is where you see Golem. Okay, you don't have anything to say. Okay. Probably not going to get to say the thing that you say when I attack your last Pokémon, because Golem's going to go down. 
Golem gonna go down. Golem gonna go down. Golem gonna go down. Yeah. Never fails. Never, ever, 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 ever. Okay, so Bertha, not that challenging, except for her, her Apowdon. Jesse was able to almost one-shot everything, so... And Swept uh, did not level up, though. Oh, well. Well, dear child, I must say, that is most impressive. Your Pokémon believed in you and did their best to earn you the win. Even though I've lost, I find myself with this silly grin. We've got money, and I'm sure that old people would be happy to win. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokémon earn the win by working as one. That's what makes you strong. Aha, I think you could go as far as you want. That's good to know, and I meant to say Law lose before, I'm sorry. Okay, let's use an Ether on Jesse's Giga Drain. Okay. And in the next episode, we are going to take on the third and fourth members of the Elite Four. See you guys later. Take care. Follow me on Twitter. I, I promise, I post funny stuff there sometimes.